in this video, we are going to practice adjusting and writing off inventory to cost of goods sold. Now the exercise we're going to follow along with is over here on the right hand side and this is pulled from our advanced level pro advisor certification course. If you would like more information about that course after we go through the exercise, be sure to click on the link below in the description. Let's go ahead and dive right in and see what our scenario is today. Your client Craig noticed discrepancies in his stock levels and asked you to help him correct them. How would you make the adjustments so that QuickBooks Online matches what he actually has in stock? Let's go ahead and find out. You will need to be in the sample company to do this exercise. If you are not sure how to get into the sample company or get your own free QBOA account, be sure to click on the link below in the description. I have the sample company pulled up here on the left hand side. This is what we're going to be working in for this exercise. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing, here are the updated inventory numbers that you received from Craig. It looks like this is um, the sprinkler heads, there's 20, not 25, and the sprinkler pipes, instead of 31, have 35. So these are the adjustment levels that we need to make in this exercise. So let's see how to adjust QBO to, actual, to the actual quantity on hand. From the left navigation bar, we're going to hover over product or hover over sales and then select products and services. The left navigation bar is over here. Here you can see sales over there. Hover over that and then select products and services. Now the two that need the adjustments are the sprinkler heads and pipes. So we want to scroll down until we find them and then click on the check boxes next to each. So scroll down until you can find it. It is under sprinklers, it's towards the bottom of the page. Once you find it, go ahead and select the check boxes next to each of those. So they are both being selected. And then I'm gonna scroll back up to the top of the grid, uh, click on batch actions, and then select adjust quantity. So scroll back to the top here. Here is batch actions, click on that, and then select adjust quantity. Now we want to, in the inventory adjustment account field, select cost of goods. This is what it's um, doing, or it, the, the account that's being changed. So click on that down arrow, select cost of goods. In the new quantity field, we want to enter the correct quantities for each product as shown in the worksheet above. So once again, let's go back to that. The sprinkler heads, there's actually 20. So click into this new quantity box, delete that 25 and put 20 instead. And then for the pipes, instead of 31, it should be 35. So click into that new quantity where the 31 is, delete that and put a 35. When you hit the tab key over, you will see that QBO has automatically made the calculation of the change in quantity from here to there. So we've uh, reduced by five and we've added four in the sprinkler pipes. Now we're going to click on the black save button that is down here on the bottom right corner. Go ahead and click on save and that adjustment has been saved for us. But now let's go ahead and check the results of your work. We're going to click on more and then select transaction journal. More is down here at the bottom on that black bar. Select that and then select transaction journal. And when it comes up, you will notice that both the inventory asset and the cost of goods sold accounts have been affected. Um, if you get a pop-up here, just go ahead and click out of it. QBO is changing their, um, in the process as of today, they are currently uh, moving over their um, reports from classic view to modern view. And so it was just a little information there. Um, nothing to do with this particular exercise. It just happened to be popping up while uh, we were going through it. But again, as you can see, the cost of goods and the inventory asset um, accounts have now been affected. And that's it. That is how you would adjust and write off inventory to cost of goods sold. Now, if you like this exercise and you want to do more like it, or if you would like more information about that advanced level pro advisor certification course, be sure to click on the link below in the description, and I will see you in the next exercise.